Hi, Virgo. You ever look at little kids and go, man, they're so lucky. They just go home. Mom takes care of them. You can do whatever they want. Chill. Everything is provided. Ooh, I remember what that used to be like. Or, ooh, I wish I knew what that was like. Oh, yeah. Fortnite. This month you get to find out, Virgo. Going home. Needing to go home. When the world doesn't make sense anymore. Help, help, help. What? What? Take a rest. Reassess. Yeah. First, Saturn and rest. You have to take a new look at how this material construct is viewing you and how you are creating it. Things are being thrown in your face right now about who you are that's bugging you out. Focusing on work and distracting yourself may not work anymore. What is your part to play? Similar to cancer, actually. What do you absolutely not want to face and let go of about yourself? What story are you stuck in? November shows you. Scorpio season shows you. Can't hide it. Can't hide anymore. And the messages come pouring out. Fire energy everywhere, but you will be reaching out. As you realize things, you will want to talk about it. What are you realizing? It's just internal stuff. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. What you haven't been able to move on from. But you've worked diligently at, and yet... The progress is not there. You feel stuck. And there are messages for you to go home. There is a call for you to come back. But that devil card there at the beginning. It's like, hi, I want to show you what you've been up to. I want to show you what's been going on and how people have been thinking of you. Whatever. Perhaps it's that you need to go back to what you know most so you can progress from there. Maybe that's the home somewhere in here that you can get back to. But there's this overwhelming like feeling of suffocation. Rest. Mental rest. Things are changing so quickly. And you guys are not cool with it. The more things are speeding up, the more you're slowing down. And going even more internal. Moving back, even further back. Yeah. Quiet, any quiet. You need to go home. You need to rest. Be around your friends. People you care about. I know. But the world is so different, huh? The world is changing right in front of you. Your world. How people think of you. They're finding out so much about you through their eyes. Scary. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Super scary, especially when it has to do with a past relationship. Something full of misery. 
Why are we thinking about that? Mercury retrograde, perhaps? Or perhaps shedding a new light with our personal realizations upon that. What have I been like up until now? How did I also encourage this energy of dismay? Despair, misery. What a somber reading. It is quite cozy and warm in here. You know, a lot of stuff going on. It's just home. Maybe it's calming you guys. Just chill. Sit down. It's all good. All right. Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, feeling pretty sad about something that's over with a fire sign, something that you're having a really hard time letting go of. I don't think you even knew that you were still thinking about it, perhaps, uh, but this, this fire sign, I think, has turned out to be a little bit more than you bargained for. Uh, especially if it's an Aries, and then a new something coming in either for that person or for you. There seems to be a third party situation also, and a lot of arguing involved there. Uh, Virgo, if this has to do with a partner, um, you may be experiencing an ending yeah. because of some treachery or, you know, lying that you found out about. Yeah. These cards together generally indicate somebody was doing something they shouldn't have been doing and you found out and you went crazy about it, which is fine. But new love will come along. For now, I think it's important to work out of this energy and keep it moving. Um, but doing the did they, didn't they thing is really going to mess you up right now if you do that, especially during Mercury retrograde. Um, if you know a thing is a certain way, either about yourself or another person, fighting against that is only going to hurt you. If you know something is what it is, just accept it. <laughs> You know, because your vacillating is only taking away from your blessings right now. You need to get clear. That is engaged, really clear on what's for you and what isn't. And if you're wondering what's for you and what isn't, look around. What's for you is still around and what isn't is gone. But you're thinking, but what about in my heart? Well... This month behooves you to look at what's in your heart and how it got there and what your role was in that. And then once you figure that out, if you feel like from a place of wisdom reaching out and making some calls yeah, or sure writing some texts, yeah. great. End of November though, not now. Now it's internal. Now it's about you. Mercury retrograde coming up. There it is. And it's going to be full of jewels for you, about you for you to realize things about you. This is perfect for hermits. You will love this, but it will hurt. Like a lot of things. All right, Virgo, let me show you these cards. I love you, I'll be back in a second. Hi Virgo, I wanted to give you like a very homey experience. So now the sun is coming in. I know it's been a few days that you're like, I need my reading, I need my reading. But I always find that if I'm holding out, it's because there's something I haven't quite understood. And honestly, up until 10 minutes ago, I did not understand what was going on yet. Um, Virgo, you, after you're done with all this gunk, admittedly, there is gunk here. Um, the ratchet up to your season and then the winding down is like the ramp up on a high and then the coming down. You know how certain highs are really hard to come down from, like to the point where the, the high isn't worth the come down? 
This is like the hangover still being experienced after your season. And when you're done sorting it through and paying all the bills and uh, reading all the receipts, which is karmically what's going on for you guys this month, then there is an opportunity here for a love that you may not in any way see coming. It's it's after you have convinced yourself that things just are not working because when you show, when you apply the high priestess energy to yourself, when, when you turn a Virgo's mind um, on themselves as an objective, not as a subjective, what Virgos will see about themselves can really shake them. It can jar them. But that is what we're heading towards and what we need. Um, because to me, it seems pretty obvious that the way to clarity and total use of one's personal power is blocked by self-delusion. And that self-delusion can take the form of someone is really toxic and bad for me, but I won't admit it. Or holding on to a previous toxic pattern that has never worked for me. And I refuse to see that about myself. Wherever you are deceiving and stealing from yourself, that is the direct thing, right? That the Gemini full moon is going to shine light on. And it's going to benefit you so much because you're going to see how something that you probably never thought of as lying to yourself, stealing from yourself, a character trait, something you do, something you say, something you have done. It's going to all of a sudden, you know how when they're changing the lenses at the eye doctors and then it's the right one and you can see, you can actually see. That's what the Gemini full moon comes in and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, okay, is that what it seems like? Is that how I seem? Is that what's been going on? Some things were so extreme that it was clear. Others, not so much. And why then, does it make sense now why the gunk has to come up? Why you have to vacillate even when things start to go well? Because this is, uh, it's the, yeah, it's your midterm. <laughs> this is the midterm. Uh, it's a little early in the season to be having a test already, but that's how you guys like it. It's quality control. Let's put it that way. It's quality control. Right? It's time to check in because certain things are just not working. And during this particular check-in, as much as certain other people, you will see them exactly how they are as well, which means that certain people you will realize are your equal. Others you will realize just need to go away because they're just never going to stop being sad. Um, but the focus here is on where you can fix the machine. And you know how you are. As soon as you clearly, without bias, can see that indeed something is holding you back, whether it's you or somebody else, you guys are ruthless about eradicating it. So good on you. Because what emerges after this admittedly difficult time is a very powerful you who is capable of doing great things. Things that may have been up until now in your mind. You see, there's the mind vacillating and trying to decide on a course of action, a want, a need. Everything is up for discussion with Virgos and then it manifesting as a clear intention and then he has the tools to therefore manifest it. Oh, there's some lilies there. That's pretty, there's some lilies over there as well. Um, okay. It's pretty clear, I think. Like I said, may not be the most exciting reading for a Leo, but for you guys, like, I'm telling you, all this internal work, all these 
clean mirrors turning in on yourself so you can see yourself more and more and more clearly. Yeah, it's going to be a little intense. Yes, there are some swords that are very sharp. Some truths about ourselves that are severe. But get it done, man. Get it done. Get there. Who said it was going to be easy anyway? <laughs> you know, are we here to, to have fun or do the job? Do the job, of course. Do the job. You can always have fun. The, the job is fun. How about that? When you get past all this, this mind that you have that is such a glorious gift can be fun, you know? All right. I love you. I'll see you in the extended, and I'll see you in December for all the Christmassy things. Love you.